Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Mega back with a personal reading. We're just going to go ahead and get into it. I've already cleansed the space. I've already cleansed my deck. And um, we're going to go ahead and get into it. If this does not resonate with you, this is not your story. Please check out your um, the Zodiac readings that I've uploaded. And I will be uploading more. Um, but with that being said, let me go ahead and get started on the reading. <clears throat> okay. Please hit the like button, please subscribe, please comment, please share this video. I can't stress enough how much it helps my channel. And not only that, but it circulates the video so that people who may need to hear this message will find it. One more shuffle. I was already feeling an earth vibe so you could be an earth sign or you could have earth placements or your person could be an earth sign doesn't have to be yeah the emperor some aries and then we have virgo and um gemini energy so let's see. The Nine of Wands under the deck. Somebody here is feeling very guarded about a situation. I feel like um, now take take whatever resonates. You can flip this, reverse it, whatever you need to do. Okay. Um, like I said, I feel like somebody was very guarded here, okay, because I feel like there was a controlling energy or somebody that was very overbearing, somebody that was kind of a bully in a way, okay, somebody who was manipulative in a situation. I feel like you're wanting a partner who is more stable because I feel like whoever you were dealing with was not very stable. Um, it's, it's almost like they were the type of person that was in and out all the time. With this magician, um, yeah, with this magician in the reverse, this is a manipulative person. And also with the emperor right next to it, okay? Um, it's somebody who misuses their power or somebody would, that was trying to force something, okay? They could have been trying to force a situation on you or they could have been trying to um, even perhaps use you for something. But whatever it is, this person is blocked. Um, this person is not really connected right now to the divine. So I feel like they're doing things kind of... Yeah, out of manipulation, okay? They're not very connected. Uh, with this Nine of Wands here, this is somebody who was... Like I said... Um, experiencing difficulties 
okay? Somebody that was experiencing a difficulty with romance, a difficulty with a connection, um, not being fulfilled in the connection at all, not feeling like they were fulfilled, um, feeling alone in the situation. But whatever this is, I feel like the worst has passed here. Okay, and I feel like you're coming to an end, like you're reaching the other side of the situation. I'm going to go ahead and pull some clarifiers. All right. Let me clarify this situation. Something definitely ended here. Could be a Scorpio. Yeah. Somebody here went through something traumatic. It could have even been, um, it could have been a fight. It could have been something that was said, okay, with this nine of swords. It could have been something that this person said to you or vice versa that just really cut deep, right? Some very, very harsh words were said here. Three of pentacles, okay? It's like this situation kind of lost its um, it's spark. Okay. It could even be a third party that was involved here. Six of swords reversed. Somebody does not want to move on from this. Okay. And then the queen of cups. Okay. Empathy. Someone is closing off. Someone's no longer giving, um, no longer giving love, no longer feeling bad for that person, right? And by doing all this under the deck, we have growth here with the Ace of Pentacles. So whoever here is cutting off this other party, okay, um, is going to experience a lot of growth spiritually, possibly even... Um, monetarily. So you could be coming into some money because the Ace of Pentacles is about money. So by doing this and by focusing on yourself, cutting off this person and taking back your energy with this Queen of Cups reversed, I feel like you're coming into a new beginning of abundance here. I feel like um, it could even be new love coming in. You could be the be in the beginning phases of a new relationship. But whatever is coming in that's new, whether it's money, whether it's a person, okay, whether it's a new job, whatever it is, um, it's going to make you feel stable. It's going to make you feel grounded. You might even be buying a home. Um, I feel like there was a lot of emotional distance between you and this person. There could have even been suspicions. Um, there could have been a lot of jealousy and envy around you. Okay, like I said, with a third party. So I don't know if it was friends or if it was an actual third party romance. But somebody was somebody in the third party here was jealous. Somebody was envious of you. And I feel like you were you were very cautious around this person and you were very cautious around people that this person knew it's almost like you were like no i'm not you know i'm not going to tell anybody what's going on with me or i'm not going to tell anybody what's up with you know i felt like i felt like maybe people were trying to get some things out of you and you were you didn't trust them okay 
And um, somebody definitely was worried about getting rejected here as well. Um, what I'm also getting is that... There was definitely a lack of confidence. So I feel like this person really tried to tear down your confidence. Okay. And um, for this, I feel like because of everything that was going on, I feel like you need to rest and relax, okay, before you burn yourself out emotionally if you haven't already done this. Because I feel like you are coming into something that's going to be very abundant for you, okay? Something that's going to push you to the next level here, okay? Because you were in a lot of anxiety and worry about the situation. And I feel like stressing out about a relationship that's not working is not going to solve the issue, okay? Um, I feel like this has been a cycle of unhappiness leading to stress that has been, you know, occurring for a very long time with this person. Um, and worrying about your love life attracts more worry, okay? It doesn't attract any anything positive to come in for you, okay? Let me go ahead and pull some oracle here. This could be really any sign. I think I've pulled, you know, it, the sign does not matter. So, um, mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry. One second. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull some Oracle. Yeah. I split it on broken heart here. There's definitely an ending, okay? But intuitively, it's almost like you knew that this was coming to an end, okay? Because it's happened so much with door to spirit here. Okay, or this could even be the divine stepping in to kind of put an end to the situation. for now we have the seventh chakra archangel uriel that's upside down so that's your crown chakra number 41 or number five and yeah we have attachment number five okay so we have two fives here okay and then under the deck in the reverse is financial constraints number four or number 31 okay like I said, there was some kind of a, a trauma that occurred here, something that bonded you two together, and therefore you feel like you have this attachment to this person, but it's a very unhealthy attachment, all right? I feel like there's some sort of magnetic attraction here with this person, but I do feel like with... Um, I feel like you're coming out of it, okay? Like I said... You are just realizing that for what it was, the connection was more of a burden than it was anything positive. And um, it's almost like you, you didn't want to listen to your intuition because your intuition was just telling you. Okay, that's why the crown chakra is reversed here. But I feel like it's, you know, you're opening up to realizing who you are and what kind of power you hold okay and this person knows what kind of power you hold that's why they're attached to you that's why they want to drain you so whenever you are around people okay 
especially this, per you know, if you're around this person or people that know this person or even just anybody in general, you need to always call back your energy, okay? Because people feed on your energy is what I'm picking up on. So when you call back your energy, nobody can continue to feed on it, right? And it's almost like when you pull back your energy, they feel it, they feel it going away. So they miss it, right? But this is only when you're completely over the situation and you no longer want to give your energy away. You'll notice that people start to come around when you're when you're just over it, right? When you've moved on, that's because you've 100% pulled your energy away. Okay? And I feel like that's what you're you're coming into here. Pretty soon you're realizing it, okay? With the financial constraint in the um reverse, um this is an increase in money coming your way. Like I said with that ace of pentacles that I pulled, right? It's an increase in money coming in for you. Um, and I feel like perhaps this person even put you in a financial constraint. Okay? They may have been using you for money. Um, if that's not the case, you are... It's almost like you could have, you know, you wanted... It's like this person wanted so much of your time that you couldn't even make money, right? You had to just give this person so much of your time that you couldn't even, you couldn't even stack money for yourself, okay? You're going to have freedom to take more risks and you're going to be able to spend without the extreme precautions that you used to have to take um, because I, I'm seeing this river of abundance coming in, right? It's starting to flow your way. All right, let's go ahead and um, pull some more cards here. Let's see. Okay. We have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your per in your present moments. Yeah, like I said, when you release this person, you completely let go. You're going to experience more joy in your life, okay? Because this person was sucking the energy from you. past life relationship you have known each other before so this could have been a very um very long term committed relationship okay um and i feel like you did have a past life with this person but i feel like you're breaking that generational karma between you and this person okay um if it's not broken, you will continue to experience this. You'll continue to experience this type of energy. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I feel like you need to get out more. I feel like you've just been, um, you know, locking yourself in the house. Or maybe you just don't really have anybody to go out with. Or maybe you feel a little bit of social anxiety. But if that is the case, um, you need to do something that's going to get you around more people, okay? And then romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. You always had a more real approach to romance than this person ever did. And then under the deck, of course, is codependency, okay? Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This person was very obsessed with you, but not in a healthy way. Like I said, they were codependent on you for whatever reason it was. You know what the reasons are, whether it's money, whether it's energetically, whether it's sexually, 
whether it's um, a situation to where you mothered this person or you you babied this person because they never had that growing up so it's almost like you filled that void for them but they never gave you anything back okay Now, if I can, um, I'm just going to go ahead and pull a couple cards to see maybe with, you know, a few signs that we could be working with here. Okay, we have Uranus, so we have Aquarius energy, and I, th let me just make sure before I say that, we have Lunar Eclipse, and we have Sixth House, okay, that's Virgo energy. Okay, Uranus, um, usually... When that card is pulled, is about addictions, like I said. The sixth house is uh, um, the house of, of Virgo. It's the house of work. So, like I said, it could be Virgo or Gemini energy. But when this card is pulled, it's about some sort of disorder. It's about change it's about confidence within yourself it's about getting back to work right it's about being serious and it's about getting ahead right you could also be working on your health i feel like maybe you felt um the stress of being with this person really affected your health, either physically or internally. So I do feel like you're working on your health. Um, like I said, with the Uranus card, it is the card of Aquarius. Um, and it's about freedom and destruction and rebellion. Okay, discovering yourself. It's about leaping into the unexpected. Okay, it's about taking a leap into the unknown. And... Um, liberating yourself okay going against the grain thinking outside of the box approach a solving a problem from a new angle right taking a step back observing a situation and and, and giving yourself a fresh idea as to what's going on and um it's just freeing yourself i do feel like this person has such a hold on you Okay, whether emotionally or physically, whatever it was, this person had boundaries on you. The lunar eclipse is an illuminator. So it illuminates events. Okay. Um, it's revealing some truths. So maybe you found, you found something out. Okay, it, it revealed something about this person that kind of changed your... It changed your opinion about this person. It's almost like you have a feeling like you can't even go back to the way things are because of this thing that you found out about this person, okay? What do we have? I just saw I owe you an apology. This person really owes you an apology. Okay, we have July to September, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, energy. And yeah, like I said, I owe you an apology. 
something could be happening within that time frame between July and September. I can't give you what you want, but I won't stay away. Yeah, this definitely has something to do with it, okay? This could be you or them. So I've got, why don't I get the same treatment as everyone else? This person, like I said, okay, when I said that there was a third party and it could be a friend or a lover, I feel like this person always treated others better than they treated you. And it's something that you would always bring up to them, right? It's like, why, why are you treating other people so much better than you treat me? Well, the reason for that is because this person has a mask that they wear. And they don't want a bad reputation, okay? And it's kind of like you are their punching bag because you're so empathetic or were so empathetic to this person that it's almost like they can take out all of their all of their issues on you, okay? Because the reason that this person treated you so horribly is because within themselves, they they don't know how to heal. Okay. So instead of healing themselves, they take that trauma out on other people, but the people that are closest to them. Okay. Yeah. Didn't I say magnetic attraction? This person is very magnetically pulled to you. Okay. But not in a good way. What's under the deck here? <laughs> I need you for my own reasons. Like I said, this person's very selfish. They're an energy vampire. Okay, they need you for their own reasons. They could have been using you. Like I said, using you or um you know what I'm talking about, right? You you just know. Let's go ahead and pull a couple more. shuffle. I just saw I regret how I treated you. Okay, we have um, initials N through Z. So N-O-P-Q-R-S-T-U-V-W-X-Y-Z. I was being fake the whole time. I feel like this person came back into your life for a little bit, okay? Trying to make it seem like they changed. Trying to make it seem like they, um, they understood where you were coming from, but they were just being fake because they were, they were trying to get something from you. I'm having financial problems. Okay, the financial constraint card, like I pulled... Like I said, this person, it's almost like they use other people for money, which is so low. And then I'm in a comfort zone, okay? This person is in some sort of a comfort zone, perhaps with somebody else, or perhaps you made them feel comfortable, right? Sorry guys, give me one second. There's a bird at my at my door. Hold on. Should I shuffle these? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I had the engagement ring, but it came out in the reverse. You and this person may have 
been engaged or if not technically engaged like I said it was a very long term committed relationship so it says engagement partnership commitment eternity completion and union and it came out reversed so this person is not uh they're non-committal okay um, this also came out in the reverse, the butterfly, but it's um, relationship evolving in the, uh, to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. This person is not healing themselves, okay? It's like they're just, they look to others to place blame, and this relationship never moved to the next phase, Okay? We have the snake. Yeah, like I said, there was a third party. So competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, and the other woman. It could be any of those things or all of those things, okay? There was definitely a third party that got involved that never should have got involved in this connection, okay? But this person's a snake. You, This person is not to be trusted, okay? And there is somebody else in the picture that you may have known about. Um, the hammer. So this is sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. This person is very repetitive as to what they do in the connection with you. It's like a revolving door. They feel like you're, you're, you are a revolving door that they can just come back to whenever they feel so, whenever they feel like it. Right. But they definitely sabotage this connection on their own. Uh, somebody may have even been interrogating you for some information. And then we have seduction, right? Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, and third party interference. I can't make this up. There was a third party interference here. This person seems to think that they're so seductive. They're so, you know, they're hot shit, basically. They may be attractive. Um... But they're definitely um, trying to use this as something to block out their feelings for you. Um, and when you do that, it doesn't it doesn't last very long. Okay. What do we have under the deck? Karmic relationship, um, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, loving you. This needed to happen because this was a lesson for both of you not just this person but yourself as well um you really need to just uh, sit back and think about the connection that you had with this person and what it taught you about yourself okay this person uh, i do feel resents you but it's part of the it's part of the karmic relationship and you may re even resent this person, but you do need to let that go. You do need to let that go if it's you, okay? I hope that this resonated for somebody. If it did, please, please, please leave me a comment. Please leave me a like, um, and please subscribe to my channel, okay? If it didn't, uh, just check out some of my other readings. They're timeless, okay? Even though I may have put some dates, uh, my, my readings are timeless, okay? So check out your sun, moon, or rising sign. And I hope that you guys have a great weekend, okay? Have a good one. Bye.